The mayor of Dallas, <laughs> the honorable mayor of Dallas says what this city needs is more bugs, specifically honeybees and, and some others. But, yes, yeah. but they more than pull their own weight, for sure. Uh, Fox 4's Shannon Murray explains why. All insects have a place in the environment, even some we don't like. Beekeeper John Talbert will soon turn 80. His secret to a long and healthy life? I eat honey every day. As the owner of Sabine Creek Honey Farm, it's easy to do. Inside Texas Discovery Gardens at Fair Park, Talbert has a permanent beehive on display to help others understand the benefit of bees. The more we can encourage native pollinators and honeybees, the better off we're going to be in our food production and our general life cycle. There's a painted lady up at the top side up there with some bees, bumblebees. Dale Clark is the only butterfly farmer in North Texas. If you don't have them, you don't have songbirds and uh, reptiles and other insects as well. So they, they are a really important uh, factor in the, in the food chain. He says to help butterflies thrive, it's important to give back what's been taken away. It's much better to have uh, a garden than concrete. Thanks to a grant from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, Texas Discovery Gardens will design and plant a dozen pollinator gardens across 80 acres of Dallas. And our flagship garden is the Mayor's Pollinator Garden right in downtown City Hall. They're calling for volunteers, whether that's helping plant the gardens across the city or in your own backyard. For a pollinator garden, native plants are the key. Sunflower, our native sunflowers. Uh, over here we have some cassias, some partridge pea, some uh, milkweeds, uh, verbenas, lantanas. You know, these are all good nectar plants and some of them are host plants as well. I'd like to encourage anyone who can participate in the mayor's program to do so because it has massive benefits for all of us. In Dallas, Shannon Murray for Good Day. Uh, you say they're not just bees or pollinators, so are butterflies, bats. Many birds, beetles. <laughs> Dan will walk around a garden. He'll he'll be happy to pollinate your garden for you. He's got this little little dusting thing that he carries around to pollinate. For a reasonable uh, fee, I can show sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Saturday, you can learn more about uh, pollinating insects and other animals at uh, the Texas Discovery Gardens in Fair Park. More information on Fox4News.com. And he dresses up in his bee outfit to do it too. It's very yeah. go all out. You know, make it. You want to be yeah. believable.